Hey, how's it going, Irvin? This is Devin from SEO Dallas, Texas. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you three easy ways you can beat your competition online starting today. You're probably wondering why I'm making this video. It's really simple. I found out a little while ago there's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all their time running their business, taking care of their customers. And they don't really have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. And typically, the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they don't know who is an expert and who is not an expert. So I found that by just making these attack plans and giving them away for free, a lot of business owners still end up raising their hands going, you know what, Devin, I like you, just take care of this for me. So at the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks in my sleeve and you want me to help you out with this, just give me a call and we can chat. And if you want to do this, uh, want me to do this for you, I'm sorry, if you want to do this yourself, that's okay too, this is free education. Now what I'm going to talk to you about today, Urban, is going to be content, backlinks, and citations. Content is everything on the front page of your website that Google can crawl through to determine what keywords to rank you for and where to rank you for those keywords. And keywords are just terms that people search into Google to find your business, such as like fencing in Austin, tree service in Austin, stuff like that. Google wants about 1,500 words to 2,000 words on your front page to consider you an authority. And that includes all the text that you can read, all the text behind your images, and then whatever your images are saved as. So looking at your website, this is obviously a gorgeous website, and I love the, uh, I love the logo you have here. A lot of images, we're visual creatures, so that's going to help close business. Um, you're gonna definitely going to want more content. You look like you probably have about 300 words on this page. You're going to want to have about 1,500 at the minimum. And then let's see what your, what your images are saved as. Can't really see. Hmm. Not really letting me see what your images are saved as. There you go. Save image as. So that might, that's not bad. ATX tree, fence, and lawn. Um, you want to save all your images as content such as like Austin, Texas fence, fence, Austin, TX, stuff like that. Your main competitor is Viking fence. These guys don't have that much content either. And Sierra fence has a little more content. But they don't have 1,500 words, so 1,500 words is definitely going to blow them out of the water, and they're also not saving their images correctly either. Bottom quote, people don't search for that. All right, now the next thing we're talking about is going to be uh, backlinks. Backlinks are important because Google's like a popularity contest, and they look at how many other websites are linking from their website to your website, driving traffic to your website. And not all backlinks are created equal. You get a lot more power from other fence companies linking to you than you would from like Pizza Hut linking to you. Obviously not a pizza company. So I use a tool to check this out, it's called Ahrefs, it costs about a thousand bucks a month depending on the plan you use, but it gives you some really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. And so here's your website right here, it says you have nine websites linking to you. Your main competitor is Viking Fence, these guys are number one, they have 282 websites linking to them, and then Sierra Fence has 315 websites linking to them. Now check this out, these guys are number one and number two, and look how much content or how much traffic they're getting. Sierra so Fence number two is getting 1,700 people a month clicking on their site. Imagine how much business they're getting from that. And then Viking Fence, they have 2,700 people hitting their website. And that went up by five just this last month. So again, they're getting this month after month of people calling them, giving them business. So you want to take this traffic, and the best way to do that is to go take whatever links they have and apply them to yourself. So like, I don't know anything about the Butterfly Rebellion, but Hercules Fence would be good. Automatic Gates, Automatic Gates, Steel Fencing. Wooden house plan might be good, um, bulk chicken wire, fence supplies, gate opener, fence gates, fence gates, these are all really good ones. Last thing i talk to you about is going to be citations. When someone types an awesome fence and they're ready to buy, they're typically going to call the first contractor that shows up that seems trustworthy. And you want to be that contractor because those are the easiest customers to close. Many people skip these ads because one, a lot of people have ad blockers so they never see them. But there's also a large group of people out there who have had bad experiences with these ads and so they skip them. And so the best place to rank yourself is right here in the Google My Business or local map hack section. To get here, you need more citations than your competitors. And citations are anywhere where your name, address, and phone number are listed in different directories across the web. And directories are just websites that allow you to list your business's information like Yelp, Yex, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Home Advisor, Angie's List. These are all really common ones. And a great strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are in. Go list yourself in those exact same directories and add a bunch more on top. I always recommend about 30 to 40% more. That way, when you take that number one spot that Austin Fence Company has, it takes them a long time to catch up to you, and you typically only have to do maybe an hour, maybe two of work per month to add a couple more citations and keep holding that number one spot and taking all those easy to close customers. One other thing I want to point out here too, Viking Fence and Sierra Fence with 1,700 traffic and 2,700 traffic, neither of them are right here. So they're getting all that traffic organically. Imagine if you had the number one spot here and you had the number one spot here. You would get an insane amount of traffic. So that's all I've got for you. I hope you found this really informative. The three things I went over today were content. I definitely recommend getting this website up to about 1,500 words at a minimum. Backlinks, you're going to want to add about 300 websites linking to you and just copy your competitors. And citations, figure out what directories your competitors are in. 
list yourself in those same directories and add a bunch more on top. So Urban, if you want to do this yourself, that's totally okay. This is free education. There's no strings attached. This video is my gift to you. All I ask is you give me a couple words of feedback as a response to this video to help me make these videos better in the future. And if you want me to do this for you, our website is seodallastx.com. Our phone number is 214-441-6737. If you're on mobile, looking at our website, click this link. It goes right to our phones. Thanks for watching this, Urban. Have a great day.